Baik, sila kalau ada satu-satu. Ah, belakang dulu. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ismi Muhammad Jawahir bin Sulaiman min Shah Alam, Selangor, Malaysia. Hayakallah akhi. I have, I have two questions and I like to post these two questions to brother Ahmad Al-Najjar. The whole of Palestine land can be free and liberated by Khalifa. For your information, I'm a member of Hizbut Tahrir Malaysia and I'm calling for the unity of Muslim all over the world under one Khalifa. Then only we can liberate Palestine by the power of Daulah Al Khilafah. Just three days ago, we had a conference, Hizbut Tahri Malaysia, we had a conference in Kuala Lumpur, attended by thousands of people. And during the conference, that's we call, we invited a representative from Hizbut Tahri from Palestine. And I, I took the opportunity to ask him, what do Palestinians really want? Do they want food? Do they want medicine? Do they want building materials? And he said, not really. He said, not really. What we really want is a battalion of army to fight to fight the Zionists of Israel. And Zion Israel can get lost from the Palestinian soul in total. I'm come, saya akan sampai ke soalan. Sikit je. For your information, we, Hezbollah Tare, Malaysia, we once, quite recently, we did a demonstration in front of the Ministry of Defense. In front of the Ministry of Defense of the Malaysian government, we demand that Malaysian government send a battalion of army to Palestine to fight the Zionist Israel and to get lost from the Palestinian soil. In total, 100%. Now, my question is, now, I would, rikaskan, like, rikaskan. I would like Hamas to be more vocal and more aggressive to request the armies, battalion of armies from members country of OIC to come together and send many battalions of army to Palestinian and fight the Zionist Israel. I would like you to do that. That's number one. And number two, during the con also during the conference, recently we had Hizbut Tahrir Malaysia, we had a conference in Kuala Lumpur, and I also, and I also asked a representative from Hizbut Tahrir Palestine, Okay, what, why, is the, why is the reaction of Hamas as authority in Gaza towards Hezbollah Tahrir? I was informed by, by him very sadly that Hamas, the authority in Gaza, Hamas authority, very hostile and very unfriendly to Hezbollah Tahrir Palestine. Remember, we are brothers and we also very much fighting for the liberation of Palestine. Okay, cukup so, kita so, bagi ruang so, pada uh, kawan kita. Question. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, thank you very much, your brother, for the lecture about Hizb al-Tahrir. Uh, we in, in Gaza, uh, we do consider all the Palestinians as our brothers and sisters, as well as all the Muslims around the world, regardless uh, uh, their uh, uh, affiliation to this party or that. For our brothers and sisters in Hezbi Tahrir, we do respect them. We do deal with them very fairly. And we uh, consider them as our partners in our struggle, in our jihad. And we ourselves are looking forward to the day that we can, inshallah, have one Khalifa to govern all Muslims everywhere. A brother, regarding the call for launching war against the Zionist entity, this is our dream. But it's not as simple as you think that, okay, Arab and Muslim countries, okay, yalla, let's perform jihad. It's not like this. A brother, some leaders, 
sacrificed themselves for the sake of their chairs. Gaddafi saw what happened to Zain al Abidin. And he all also saw what happened to bin Salih. Bin Salih, bin Salih got into hell in the dunya. And he did not take an example or a lesson. He was killed and none of them, of those tyrants, took a lesson or learned a lesson of this. So it's not simple. We want the peoples of the whole Arab countries to start this initiative, to start pushing and making pressure over their countries to start this holy war for the liberation of Palestine. And it has just started. And we do believe that the promise of Al-Akhirah, Wa'adul Akhirah is very near. فإذا جاء وعد الآخرة ليسوء وجوهكم وليدخلوا المسجد كما دخلوه أول مرة وليتبروا مع لو تتبير this word this promise is very near الحمد لله رب العالمين and the peoples like the people of Malaysia will hasten this and will and will make it nearer and nearer for what you have been told by your brother يعني I need to see him I need to inquire what he has said as you know sometimes uh, disputes happen between brothers and sisters and even between a husband and his wife. So sometimes things are not done well. For example, I'll give a very يعني, simple example. For having demonstrations in the streets, we have an authority in Gaza. And this authority should be respected. If you want to have a demo in the street, you need just to inform the police. Some people say, no, we don't recognize you. So this is, we cannot... Uh, accept such a thing or just leave people do whatever they wish. We in Palestine, alhamdulillah, the majority are real mujahideen. The majority are very devoted and committed and loyal to their country. But unfortunately, we still have some collaborators. So we don't want the good people be mixed with the bad people. So that's why some certain rules should be respected and should be, should be followed. Again, we do respect our brothers in Fatah, in a uh, popular front in Jihad Islami, Islamic Jihad, in Hizb al-Tahrir, in all, Sheikh Mahdi Akif said that we do respect and even love the Shia. So what about our Muslim Sunnah from Hizb al-Tahrir? Thank you. For Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Saya pengurus Syiah di Nadra in Ar-Madhiz Kilian. Yang pertama saya ingin nak tambah sikit tentang Hizb al-Tahrir. Petari ini ialah di antara gejala berbilang jamaah di dalam masyarakat Islam kerana selisih pendapat apakah pendekatan untuk mencapai kejayaan. Sama-sama nak pergi ke Mekah. Ada yang kata pergi ke kapal terbang, kata pergi ke kapal laut, nak pergi dengan uta. Semua nak pergi ke Mekah. Cuma Ha? Ada yang kata wajib dengan unta Kapal terbang tak boleh ha? Ada kata kapal terbang Semua boleh Itu selisih pendapat Cuma kita perlu menyedari bahawa Menegakkan khilafah Imamah Imarah Itu perkataan Sa'arti dalam bahasa Arab Quran menyebut khilafah Hadis menyebut imamah Imarah ha? Hadis juga sama dengan menghuraikan Al-Quran Al-Karim Quran mengatakan proses wa'adallahu alladhina amanu minkum wa'amilu salihat la yastakhlifannahum fil ard kama astakhlifan alladhina min qablihim walimakan lahum dinahum lalu al-tahum iaitulah Allah Ta'ala berjanji kepada orang yang beriman dan mengerjakan amat yang salih bahawa dia akan jadikan mereka itu khalifah yang memerintah dan dia jadikan agama yang diredah berkuasa berdaulat dia tukar keadaan daripada ketakutan berkeamanan. Menunjukkan bahawa khilafah tidak boleh dicapai melainkan dengan perjuangan. Dengan dakwah, dengan jihad, bukan dengan percuma. Bukan begitu saja. Ha, kita bersyarah khilafah, saya bawa risalah khilafah, tegakkan khilafah. Tidak, tidak begitu. Mesti dengan perjuangan. Kerana Nabi ha, 13 tahun di Mekah, 10 tahun di Madinah, disambung oleh Abu Bakar, terhapa menghadapi cabaran redah dan selama ini. Begitulah. Proses ada proses dia. Cuma ada kadang-kadang kita ni, dia nak menang cepat. Ha, berasa proses yang dibuat oleh orang dulu lambat, ha, dia nak menang cepat. Buat-buat pun tak menang juga. Ini je. Dan sebab itu, 
kita mendukung mana-mana gerakan Islam yang dilahirkan di atas islah, di atas tajdid, di atas gerakan pembaharuan. Ini yang perlu kita dukung. Ha? Gerakan yang dihasilkan di atas tak puas hati. Kerana lambat, kerana ini, kerana ini, ini ada kelemahan-kelemahan yang kita kena sedar. Ha? Kalau di Palestin kita melihat, ha? oleh kerana terpaksa menghadapi cabaran, rakan-rakan Haribut Tahrir, dia menyokong Hamas, menyokong jihad, oleh kerana terpaksa kena berdepan dengan peluru. Ha, begitu, jadi begitu dan kita harap di Malaysia pun bila pilihan raya, kita putar hari undi kita lah jangan undi UMNO, itulah, itu saja yang pentingnya, dia tak bertanding dia undi kita, biar kita menang ha, tegakkan khilafah ha, itu yang, kalau kita menang, boleh tegakkan khilafah tegakkan syariat, ini yang penting